Gina's here today from Good Food Oxford and we're going to be planting some pumpkins and mm -hmm. Nina what sort of things do you want to know? Well so I've got these squash seeds here um, that I'd like to grow and to be honest I don't know much about it so do you have some tips for us? Yeah thank you. Orange Hokkaido are really delicious Japanese squash. They get to about that sort of size and I would tend to grow them in a fairly large pot um, so th sowing them into something like that at least that big um, anything smaller than that and it really won't last in there for long enough I would probably tend to go for a pot that that, that sort of size for your compost so would fill it up with compost give it a tap down so it settles and then really we're just making a hole about so so deep and then we pop the seed in it's really that right. simple I've heard as a rule of thumb, if you imagine a seed is one unit in size, to plant it three of those units deep. Mm. So squash plant is quite a big seed, so that would go in fairly deep. And I've also heard recently that um, planting them sort of horizontal helps them when they germinate. Mm. So we want it buried in and then we can just cover it over. I might just top it up top it up over the top with mm. as much as possible and um, and then we'd give it a give it a good watering some people recommend watering before you put the seed in because particularly if you plant the seed really high um, they can float off like a little boat once you if you water them so making sure that it sort of stays put is a good thing right. and then the next stage is cool. to label it so when we're labeling we can use different labels, we can use bought labels or we can upcycle old bits of yoghurt yogurt container or um, lollipop sticks. So can we use anything else if we don't have access to uh, these nice planting pots? You can use things like old uh, milk carton, mm -hmm. milk, plastic milk bottle mm -hmm. cartons or tetra packs, mm -hmm. all sorts of things like that. So anything that basically can, can contain seed. Mm -hmm. It's quite good to have something which excludes light, because roots mm -hmm. tend to not like light. Right. So where do we keep the pots um, once we've planted the seeds? For these kind of plants, it's really crucial that one, slugs can't get at them, mm -hmm. and two, they don't get too cold. Mm -hmm. Keep the frost off, keep the cold air off. So ideally, outside in something like a greenhouse, mm -hmm. cold frame, polytunnel or maybe a porch that's got glass mm. and, um, and as I said so slugs are the main one of the main things that are going to damage them so somewhere that you can access regularly to go and like go hunting at night for slugs because that's really important and the slugs really like to hide underneath the pots you don't want them to dry out completely completely but you don't want them to be sopping wet so as I say roots need air as well as water so it's worth if, you, if you're sort of touching down and it's it feels gently moist that's fine if it's like you're touching down and it's like water's squeezing out then that would be too wet generally I would plant them out in in May early May early to mid May but you can still plant them directly into the ground really the issue is making sure that they're protected from any frost. Mm -hmm. So you can plant them early mm -hmm. um, and they will grow if it's warm enough. Um, if you plant them really early then the issue that you have is having them in big enough pots and s somewhere that's um, warm enough for long enough before you have to plant them out. Because if you plant them out too early then they'll get zapped by a cold or there might be a late frost that zaps them. And if you, if you leave them in the pot too long, then they'll put their roots down through the bottom of the pot possibly, mm. and then you'll actually damage them when you trans trans transfer them and move them. So when we're ready to plant them outside, what do we need to do? So when the roots have started to grow through, mm -hmm. uh, it'll be ready to plant out. And to prepare the ground, we need to dig a hole mm -hmm. and enrich it as much as you can and then pour water in, mm -hmm. then we very carefully turn the plant upside down 
with your fingers either side of the plant mm -hmm. as it's growing so that the, the roots come out safely and at this point you need to be careful not to break them mm. and then carefully put them in, cover, them, cover it with compost and then water it in again. space will the plant need? How much garden space should I plant for? So, so I would recommend at least a metre planting between, mm -hmm. spacing between each nice. plant, if not more. Um, it's good to plant them alongside beans and corn mm -hmm. as well, the three sisters. Yeah. Can these climb on a fence or a trellis as well, or just on the ground? Yes, they can, and if you've got a small garden, then having something to make use of that vertical mm. space, that's a really good idea. Okay. The only problem is that the roots won't be able to come down from the stems if they're climbing up something. Once they're out in the garden, how often do we have to water the plants? Well, they'll benefit from watering and feeding as well, if you, if you can give them comfrey or nettle feeding. Mm. Um, and particularly when it's been dry, it's good to, to water. Mm -hmm. If it's been raining a lot, it's probably worth checking for slugs. Right. And, um, and then as, as they grow, we need to do less watering because they'll make their own roots down deep. Well, I'm really excited about growing these now, so when will they be ready to eat? So, if you plant them fairly early, there's a good chance they'll be ready, some will be ready in August. Oh, wow. And some right. squash you can harvest to eat straight away, and mm. some you can leave longer to really ripen, mm. and then you can store them for the winter. Mm. There's quite a few different varieties, but Hokkaido are, they're quite, you can use for both. So mm. you can dry them and leave them, leave them for the winter, or you can eat them. Fresh. That's great. So we could store them until Halloween and have a nice decorating party for Oxfordshire Pumpkin Festival. Yeah, right? that would be lovely. And cook them rather than carve and bin them. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Roasted is really nice. Mm. Very yes, I love that. So good luck with your squash growing. And don't be tempted to save the seeds from your squash because it's unlikely that they'll be the same as the ones that are on the packet. They're quite promiscuous and they cross with other things, so you, you don't usually get the same again. And don't forget to sing to the plants, they love it. <laughs> 